Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be an update on my project use it up for candles. I just realized that I did not upload an update to this last month in May. So this is basically the summer intro, but I have this uh, project use up going year long. I don't really change it out for scents like per season. I just change it out with what candles I want to use at the time. So yeah, not really like summer specific here, but I do have summer scents that I'm adding in, but, and I'm a little out of breath because I just got this set up together. I'm recording in a different part of my house right now. This is actually our living room, like TV setup, And you can see like, we have weights down there, yoga mats over here. <laughs> this is basically like the workout area too. So I think I'm gonna be recording this month in like different locations because we're kind of redoing our bedroom. So I'll see if I can't get some art and stuff in there, but for now I'm gonna try and record in different locations. And you guys let me know what you think. I really kind of like this background, I think it's cute. So yeah, let me know what you think. Ignore the cord, okay? We're not gonna talk about it. Anyways, <laughs> so um, I actually have a lot of empty candles to show you guys. So I have this little Lulu bag of empties. So we will start off with the empty candles that I finished off in basically like the last two months. So first things first, I did just like last week finish off Hello Gorgeous Pumpkin Spice Latte, which ugh, I'm kind of kicking myself that I didn't buy it again, but I did see it at SAS at my outlet for $3, I think. And it is a good scent, but I think I've determined that I'm not gonna buy single wicks unless they're for my bedroom. And I don't think I would ever do like a coffee scent in the bedroom, just because I like coffee scents in the morning when I'm working or trying to be really productive. And I never really do a lot of things that are productive in my living room. I'll do them, I mean, in my bedroom, I'm sorry. I never do productive things in my bedroom. That's usually just where we sleep or I get ready for the morning in the bathroom. And everything else I do kind of in the living room area and the dining room because that's where my office is. So I can't really have a single wick throw properly in those areas because it is an open concept. So I've determined that I don't want to do single wicks anymore unless they're in the bathroom or bedroom. So anyways, long, long way to say I won't be repurchasing it in a single wick, but I would consider getting it in a three wick. Honestly, there's no pumpkin to this whatsoever. So that's why I didn't mind bringing it not in fall. It's just a kind of cafe au lait scent. I've talked about these a lot before in videos that I'm talking about like coffee candles, but it's just coffee with a little bit of milk, maybe some caramel drizzle on top, but nothing crazy to it. And I remember the three wick from last year had like a nice little whipped creamed, whipped cream scent to it. And it was really nice. So I definitely would repurchase this again next year, but finished off the single wick. I'll show you here's progress lines. Started off up here. Oh no, sorry, started off unused. And then this in a month, a month, and then a month. So finish it off. Next thing I have is a three wick in champagne margarita. I love the gorgeous blue packaging on this one. I think they did so good with this white barn core collection this summer because the packaging colors were really gorgeous. The notes on this are sweet lime, champagne, and sugar cane. I loved this one. It was so good. And I just realized it's $26.50. I did not pay that. But this one burned all the way down until it burnt itself out. And oh gosh, it is so good. I definitely got that zesty lime. And it was like champagne toast with a lime twist to it. It was so yummy. I love doing these kinds of scents that are like powerhouse fruity scents in the kitchen just to kind of overpower any scent that we just cooked at night. I love, love, love doing these scents then. So this was a really, really, really good scent. And if you see it at $11.95 um, during SAS, definitely pick it up. I think it's perfect for this time of year being like super hot and everything. Okay, the third one I finished off is Coconut Cream Pie. Also another one that's amazing. I really considered buying this online for SAS, but I don't think I'm going to just because I liked it when I burned it, but I don't think I need it again until next year maybe. So. Oh, I didn't show you the progress on this one, sorry. So I started it off unused, went to here in a month and then finished it off in a month. So did really good on that one. Um, this one, I started it off unused, went halfway a little bit and then a little bit. It has a lot of wax left at the bottom. So you can see it's like up here. Usually my candles go down a little further, but it was such a good scent. The notes on this one are 
toasted coconut flakes, caramel custard, and golden pie crust. I really get the caramel custard on this a lot. And it's a little more caramely than the body care is, but it does have that like little bit of coconut um, and it's like coconut flakes and pie crust. Oh, it was such a good scent. It did get a little bit sooty near the end. I would say once I hit this mark right here, it got pretty sooty, but it was still a really good scent and I really enjoyed it. It was like a nice bakery coconut scent. So perfect for like going right into summer. And the last one I finished off is Positively Sweet Dark Chocolate Truffles, also in this beautiful, just gorgeous Valentine's Day collection. I wish it was wraparound packaging, but that's fine. The notes on this one are rich chocolate, gooey butterscotch, and candied cherries. Such a good scent. This one was really strong. It was basically just chocolate cherries, chocolate covered cherries. God, it was so beautiful. Absolutely love this. I also saw this one on the, uh, not 75% off actually, it was 11.95 table at SAS and considered getting it because it was so pretty. If they still have some when it goes 75% off, I definitely will get it. Or even when it goes $8, I definitely will get it. But I would save it for next year. I couldn't burn this right now, I don't think. So here's the progress, started up here and then here and then burn all the way down. And yeah, it was a really, really good scent. So definitely love that. Okay, some ones I have updates on. The first one being the only single wick that I have in the project and actually the only other single wick I own. Ryan has a single wick in Mahogany Vanilla, but that, I'm not counting that towards my collection. Um, aromatherapy Stress Relief. So I did get some progress on this one. I found myself kind of wanting to burn this at nights when I was doing a little pamper routine. So like if I was doing a long shower, you know, shave routine and I was doing like a face mask and stuff, then I felt myself wanting to do this. So it did get quite a bit of progress from the last month. I'm not really focused on trying to finish it up fast because it's a fairly new, fairly new candle to my collection. I've only had it, I think, since April. So it's not old or anything. I just wanna see, you know, how long it would take me to use it casually, basically. So that's a month's progress on that one. Number two that I have some progress on is Blueberry Pie. This one I have been getting, I think every year since it came out. It didn't come out last year, I wanna say, but it did come out in 2020 and I bought it then and I loved it. Um, and so here is the progress that I have on this one. Um, started off here and then here and then now we're here and the wax is getting a little discolored i just noticed there's this really odd looking uh, i don't know what this is going on down here look at that that looks kind of gross if any of you guys know what that is let me know i'm very confused as to what that is maybe it separated from the oh it did separate from the glass it probably yeah oh my gosh i can stick my fingernail back here that's odd never had that happen okay anyways it's a good scent it's not super strong i would say the 2020 version that was in the blue white barn core packaging was a lot stronger than this one but it is like a medium medium high i'd say like a six or seven out of ten thrower but yeah the notes are juicy blueberries flaky crust and sugar crystals it is a really good blueberry pie scent but it's not super strong and i'm not obsessed with it like i used to be so there's that one. I really want to get the, what is the one for 4th of July? Cherry pie, I think, or is it apple pie? It's warm apple pie for 4th of July. I really want to get that one. It's online exclusive, but I'm hoping I'll see it at SAS and we will see if I can find that one. But yeah, just working on that one. Not really super impressed, but I'm not mad at it. The last one that I have progress on is strawberry daiquiri. I did pick this one up, I think a few months ago and I just, got to burning it. The notes on this are fro frozen strawberries, sweet simple syrup, shot of tropical rum, and zesty citrus twist. Honestly, um, I was downstairs and I had this burning on the second floor and I was on the first floor. And I went upstairs and I thought it was champagne toast. It smells like champagne toast, but maybe if you like muddled strawberries at the bottom of it and gave it like, I guess a shot of rum, I don't know it uh, it doesn't it's not super unique or anything it is pretty strong i would say seven or eight out of ten on throw so it's definitely strong but it's nothing like amazing it basically smells like champagne toast with strawberries so yeah i do like it though and i did get a little bit of progress so here's last month and then now this is like the only one that i have going in my kitchen right now so it'll definitely be finished before the next update so this is how like my candles work. So basically I have one upstairs, which right now is stress relief. 
I have one in the living room, which right now is blueberry pie, and it goes in that little candle warmer, or candle stand, I mean. And so I'll have this finished up pretty soon probably because it's the one that's going right now in the living room and then one going in the kitchen and we have it on the bar and that's this one. So total, I have like three going at a time. And then once I finish one off, I'll replace it. But yeah, I'm adding in four new candles because I bought some new ones at SAS and I also got a homeworks haul. So I'm gonna start with the homeworks candle that I'm adding in first. And that is a Limoncello Cupcake. I did just pick this one up. I'll link my um, homeworks haul up above. But yeah, I picked up Limoncello Cupcake. It's honestly really heavy. <laughs> and it is a four wick candle. So let me go ahead and mark where I'm at. I have burned this, I wanna say like two times. You can see there's a little bit of tunneling going on, but um, from what I've seen of other people's reviews on homeworks candles, they pretty much correct themselves. It's pretty, these wicks are so small. It kind of scares me how thin they are but it still performs really well. But yeah, it's like a very fresh lemon, almost like lemon bars kind of candle. And I don't know the notes because they don't, oh, they put it on here, they do, sorry. Lemon cello, Sicilian lemons, candied lemons, creamy vanilla and baked cupcake. I don't get cupcake. I do kind of get like a lemon bar scent, but definitely not any cupcake, but it smells great. It does burn pretty well. I haven't yet determined exactly what the throw is. I think I need to burn it a little bit more to be able to tell you, but right now it's kind of doing a medium throw, but I think it should get bigger once I have like a full wax pool going. So that's the first homeworks candle that I'm putting in the collection, or sorry, in the project. And then some new SAS candles that I bought. So first one that I'm gonna put in is Cinnamon Spice Vanilla in Paris Cafe. I was really looking forward to getting this candle because I've been craving like i said a coffee candle in the mornings when i work so i think this one's gonna be gone through pretty fast starting it off at unused and i'll give you guys the notes on this one it's rich roasted coffee vanilla creme ground cinnamon and sugar crystals it basically just i just realized this one's only 24.50 how nice is that versus like margarita cupcake or sorry champagne margarita was 26.50 so that's kind of cool hmm. anyways um yeah, this one basically just smells like Paris Cafe with a little bit of like cinnamon in it. It's like a cinnamon latte. Yeah, so good. I cannot wait to burn this and see how it burns. I know it's gonna be super duper strong. So really excited to put this one in the project. The next one I have is Coconut Sandalwood. I did pick this up at my outlet store. I think it's actually from Canada because right here, the second language underneath scented candle is Chandel parfume i'm sorry i do not speak french but i think that's that's french and it has a bunch of different languages it also has this like four um uh, section packaging whereas ours in america have um basically just one section so here's a comparison yeah so i definitely think it's from a different country but it doesn't even have the price on the bottom so it's kind of crazy but the notes are coconut palm, luxurious sandalwood, and jasmine. I think this is a really nice, fresh candle. It smells sophisticated. Like, it smells like I paid a lot for this. So I can't wait to burn it and see how it actually smells when burning because it's really pretty. It's very sophisticated. I think this is a nice scent. This might be a good, like, housewarming scent. Like, if you have people coming over and you want something to impress them, I think this might be the scent. So I'm very excited to try it and see if I like it. Um, let me go ahead and mark it, but I've never tried it before. Let me know if you guys have ever tried this candle or you had this, this collection. I think this collection is so beautiful. Um, all the candles in this collection were really pretty, but yeah, that's one I'm adding in as well. And the last one that I'm adding in is Toasted Pineapple Marshmallow. One from the brand new collection that just came out for SAS. Really excited about this one. It smells delicious. The notes are fresh pineapple, milk chocolate, toasty marshmallows, and graham cracker. I don't get graham cracker or chocolate. I really just get pineapple marshmallow. And I wouldn't even say it's marshmallow. I would say it's like a pineapple vanilla smoothie. Like you went somewhere and you ordered a smoothie and it had just pineapple and like ice cream or something. It almost smells like a Dole Whip actually. So it smells great. I'm really looking forward to it just because like I said, it's hot here. I live in Texas. It is already hitting hundreds right now and it's only July. 
so we're probably going to be in this kind of weather until the end of September which sucks so yeah burning this just to get through it but um I'm really excited to smell it it smells great on cold so I'm expecting a lot when it's burnt but yeah that is the last one that I'm adding in. Okay, so that is everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I think it's just fun to keep track of how many candles I go through and like what my progress is on them from month to month. So that's why I am doing this Project Use It Up separate from the body care. I just think it, it would one, take too long to add those both in together into the same video. And two, I think it's just fun to separate them and see the difference. So yeah, that is everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down below what are some candles that you are really enjoying in this hot weather um, that we're having, or if you're not having hot weather, what are some candles that you're enjoying anyways? Let me know down below. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.